Hello YouTube, One Lazy Trucker here, and uh, today I'd like to talk about uh, global warming, rising sea levels, and what the Salton Sink, or the Salton Sea, uh, can do to help all that. Uh, but before we get started, uh, if you would, uh, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Uh, so that uh, you'll be updated whenever I upload a new video. So first, uh, on this map, the elevations are shown in uh, green in various colors, and uh, dark dark green being below sea level, and just above sea level, slightly light, lighter. So if we go over here to Southern California and parts of northern Baja, Mexico, um, you can see that just above the border there where Brawley is, a lot of that is below sea level because the Salton Sea is right in that area. And uh, it's 235 feet below sea level. So, with global warming, which I don't think is man-made, but is possible, and there is some conflict with that because in the 70s, National Geographic had a cover article, what are we going to do about global cooling? So, I don't think it's uh, settled or resolved as to whether it's global warming or not, but I don't think it's man-made. In any case, if the ocean level is rising what can we do to help that well if we dug a canal from the Sea of Cortez or the Gulf of California whatever you want to call it uh, there at the bottom of the screen you'll see a little blue and there is a wildlife reserve there in Mexico but there's also right there just below Mexicali where the L is there's a um, a saltwater lake in Mexico as well and it's also below sea level and it's possible depending on how Mexico feels about this idea it, to use that as part of a canal system to flood the Salton Sea area up to sea level that um, would be huge I mean it's a large lake now and they believe it was part of the Gulf of Mexico or part of the Gulf there in Baja California at one point anyways so if we dug two canals and I would say make them large enough not to just accommodate the size of current ships but the expected size of the next generation of cruise ships and cargo ships with LA becoming so congested and LA does not want the truck traffic there because their freeway system is so congested already um, if we created a giant inland sea basically an extension of the Gulf with a couple of canals that would not even I don't think they'd even have to be the length of the Suez Canal but I'd say make them double as deep as what's currently required for large container ships and cruise boats and twice as wide that way we don't have to upgrade you know in 60 years or 100 years like they do to the Panama Canal they're already sized large enough that the boats of the future could easily uh, come up the Gulf or the Sea of Cortez, come up into those canals, go into Southern California all the way up almost to Palm Springs. So Coachella, Indio, um, all of those air Palm Springs, all those areas, La Quinta, all those areas would practically be seaside resorts. Um, so that would solve the pollution problem of the Salton Sea drying up 
Uh, I know there was some talk of mining lithium there. But, hey, if it's that valuable, they can do some undersea mining of it. Uh, and it would be deep enough, you know, a few hundred feet, that it could be done safely with the boats overhead. Um, if you were mining at the bottom of the Salton Sea. So I don't think that would be a problem. So that would create basically a whole new resort and um, commercial area for cargo ships to be unloaded versus having to get lined up in Long Beach and then trying to get those containers out of Long Beach over to the Inland Empire near San Bernardino in Ontario where they currently unload them so you could create a warehouse district and I've never understood why when they created a freeway and they did this on the 60 freeway through Riverside is it was two lanes each direction and when they widened it uh, to four lanes each direction why they just didn't go to cover the median completely with asphalt and concrete so that all they had to do when they need to expand the freeways paint lines so what they could do there in uh, Indio Coachella um, and places like Calipatria and whatnot that are above sea and Brawley that are above sea level is create super highways uh, that are um, you know eight lanes in each direction so that they're primed and ready to go for the future but only paint as many lanes as you need when traffic gets too congested paint those other lanes and begin wearing those out the other thing that would do is if you had the extra space for the lanes and you weren't using them all the time when you had to repair the freeway you could move traffic over into those unused lanes and safely repair the highway but uh, anyways back to flooding the Salton Sea that would create huge industry in construction to make the canals first off because um, you'd have to go from the Sea of Cortez all the way up uh, no parts of Mexicali are only uh, and Calexico are only like five feet above sea level so really, uh, I think the Suez Canal is about 80 feet deep or so. So really, you wouldn't have to dig that deep of a canal. And you could probably line it up with where the original Alamo Canal broke loose, I think it was somewhere near the Mexican border, and get the water uh, to do some of the work for you. Uh, you know, you might not necessarily have to go as deep and one of them when the when the area floods back up to sea level um, because you wouldn't need any locks in that canal the sea life could flow through into that area create brand new um, sports fishing and diving opportunities for people and I think it would do it because they used to farm in the Imperial Valley they don't because <clears throat> The water rights have become so valuable that Imperial County and the farmers there, along with the county that they have water rights, they're selling their water rights to San Diego and cities over on the coast, and then they're not farming, which is contributing to the decline of the Salton Sea because it has no inflow anymore. And so rather than try and worry about the inflow and the dust that's going to be created from the winds and the playa drying up and LA did this to a lake oh I forget where which one it was but there's a dry lake in California that LA pays for water trucks to do dust abatement in that would eliminate all of that uh, because it become unnecessary and then those properties, because they would now be essentially coastal areas, those property values would skyrocket.
and now there are people living in the Salton Sea area, um, quite a few below sea level, uh, I would say for the property owners. Um, when their properties flood to basically pay them the value of similar proper similar sized properties in San Diego or Orange County because that would be fair then those people could be compensated or they could maybe offer a trade where they would offer them lots to build on above the uh, sea level line and fairly close to um, what would become the new coastline. Uh, it would create a you know a huge valuable uh, resource um, for people to use. Uh, it would be part of the ocean, basically by extension of canals. Um, so, it, and, you know, so you have the construction of the canal could, would create jobs. Uh, also the, um, you'd probably want to go through any gas station below sea level, remove the old fuel tanks and stuff. Uh, so you'd have the cleanup work that would provide jobs. Then after that's all done, you would have the, um, the port jobs for uh, cruise boats and the port jobs for the cargo ships. Um, I think it'd be a huge boost to California. Um, so there is a Salton Sea Authority in Indio. So if you like this idea, do what I'm going to do. Contact them and say, build some canals through Mexico flood it to sea level and make it a large inland port area to uh, facilitate the uh, transfer of cargo and goods that are brought into the country anyways. And if you say, well, why would they want to sell ships down past Baja, California and come back up? You got to consider in the future, um, large parts of Africa are going to become the new um, the new China's where your cheap goods are going to come from. China's their um, their economy is booming they have a huge middle class now and so they're also going to become a consumer society and those production jobs, those low-end, cheap labor production jobs that China had, they're going to have to start producing goods elsewhere as well. And I foresee Africa being that area. When those countries finally tell the World Bank to go pound sand and get out of those stupid deals that made them uh, impoverished instead of prosperous countries, the, you know, the World Bank screwed a lot of those countries and turned them into little third world dictatorships uh, in the 20th century. And that, I think, will turn around, you know, in the next several decades. Um, and there's, I, I imagine there's going to be a huge uh, boom in Africa of producing goods and raw material. And I just think that this would help as they can sell over from Africa, go right up into a, an area that right now is not congested like Long Beach and LAR. And they can hook those ports right into major highways and get those goods flowing into the country, I believe, faster than LA if they set this up right. Um... So again, if you like the idea, contact the uh, Salton the Sea Authority in Indio. Uh, they have a website too. And uh, give them the suggestion. And this is One Lazy Trucker, praying for everyone's safe travels. And have a good night.